Hello, Rich Mystery of Teeth, and I'm Zubacat. This is a video of my customized S Hero 1 6 scale Doom Monarch, which is Dr. Doom. We did a review of this figure and pointed out that he had a lot of issues, but was still a really cool figure in a lot of ways. So I wanted to try to fix some of the problems it had to make it a cool figure in almost every way. The biggest issue that I think I had with this figure was his eye holes. You'd have seen his cheeks and um, I completely modified this, heavily modified his head. Are you gonna show him what's under there? Yeah. <laughs> I'd say it was more like down like this. You'd have seen his cheeks. Yeah, it looked really weird before. And there's a big issue like his face underneath was interfering with the mask and Magnets weren't in the right place, so I had to do a lot of mod modifying under there to get that to sit in the right place and also make it so his eyes weren't so far back because that was another issue. His eyes are like way back in there and you just couldn't see them. But now you can't. But if you care about what he looks like under here, then that would be an issue because that's what he looks <laughs> like now. <laughs> There's nothing left. <laughs> <laughs> I put I made Sculpty to hold that magnet in and there's this little tiny nose thing sticking out I, I just left it there or whatever it doesn't really matter but yeah I don't really like I think it's cool it'd be a cool thing just to see his messed up face under there if you wanted to but it's not that big a deal to me and I, the mask fitting correctly is a bigger deal for us yeah that's a much bigger deal so after a bunch of modifying, and I'll show a bunch of pictures of me cutting his face up. And <laughs> it's a separate piece from the helmet, but it was still a little difficult to cut that up. Get the magnet out and reposition it. I left the magnet in here where it was. But uh, yeah, his nose was really big too, and it was in the way. It's another reason his eyes were set so far back, because his nose was so huge. But yeah, now that goes on there. Oh, it's so much better. Yeah. I really am happy with that now. And put the hood up. Now another issue that I didn't fix because I'm not able to yet was the alternate classic mask. Because I'd really like to have a classic mask. Even if I did, I might still use use this one because it looks cool. But I still think it'd be cool to have a classic mask, and this one is just not right. But I was hoping maybe doing this would make it look a little better. But still, it just it yeah. just looks odd. It also really does not go with the rest of his armor. No. It's... It, uh, yeah, like, the, these are more like squares. It's be wider rectangles. And the nose is just too big. Like, there's just... And it also... Sit, it still sits up too far away from his face. It just doesn't work. But still, I got this mask to work, so that's fine for me. I think like the mask on this Marvel Legends figure would be good. I like the shape of that one. That would be really good for a classic Doctor Doom mask. And I showed this in the review for this six scale Doctor Doom. This also is a really good looking classic mask. You can see the eyes through there. He's got the Galactus eyes here, but I mean, I'm just talking about the positioning of the eyes and the way the mask is shaped and everything I think is pretty awesome another issue with him was his body he was too short for one thing and I put it on a different body to see if that would fit and I seen online someone also modified their figure and they replaced his under armor it was like somewhat thick padded chainmail looking armor and they replaced it with chainmail from a Sideshow Monty Python knight figure. And I got one on eBay. That's who that's from? That's awesome. Yeah. I found one on eBay. It wasn't too expensive. Just the suit. And I put it on there and I do like it. I think it, the chainmail looks better than what he came with. Mm. It looks nice and metallic. It looks pretty good. So I was pretty happy with that. But I still ended up using the armor or, or the padding he came with it's underneath there but i cut it up a lot to allow more articulation because this articulation was limited because of that padding but i cut it up in spots so that it would 
still work. These uh, shoulder pads are magnetic, so you have to you have to cut these pieces off of the old armor, stick it onto the new armor. Although since this mine is underneath, it may have still worked, but I was afraid it wouldn't be strong enough to go through this material into that. So I cut it off and then sewed it onto the outside of this. See how it pops on there. Another thing I had to do was the chainmail for the multi python knight kind of stopped right here and then there was just material so if you put his arms up like that you would see that so I had to take like the little there's like a thing that went around his neck the multi python character and I took that off and cut it in half and then put some of it over here and put some of it over there cover up them gaps when he puts his arm up so yeah this isn't like a easy what I did isn't an easy little switch there are some things you could do easy but some of it's gonna require some work I think that just looks better. Yeah, I like it. Uh, another issue was when you moved his arms, his armor would get all bunched up at the elbows real bad. And part of that was because he had these solid sculpted elbow pads that just couldn't work in the bend. So I cut out the middle piece of, or I cut off the bottom of the elbow pad and it's moved up here. And the part that wrapped around I cut that off and replaced it with elastic and I had to buy some metallic elastic and glued it to this so that fits in there good and doesn't shift off of his elbow when he bends his elbow so that works much better. Uh, the only drawback is I kind of wish this armor went all the way around instead of having this cut in it because that's where I cut it off from here and I could maybe sculpt that on but I just I didn't do it right Maybe I'll do it someday. It doesn't look too bad. It's not that noticeable. Mm, I think it looks fine. But now we can bend his elbow or bend his arm and his armor stays where it should. So that's good. Another thing I switched was when switching bodies, his head was magnetic. It just popped off of here. But the problem with that is if you try to make him look down like this, his head would just pop back up because it was magnetic and wanted to stay up. But I replaced it with a like more traditional six scale neck socket. Had to drill through the armor, the silver armor. Put a peg up through there, and then one down underneath. So now he could look around and not have his head pop back into straight up. So that's cool. I like it much better that way. I'm not a big fan of magnetic heads. Yeah, well, it's a good idea, but in practice, it just doesn't always work right. Yeah, some of them do it good. There's a couple Spider Mans that did it good, but mm. some of them don't. They don't want to stay when you move them. And this is one that didn't want to stay. They either pop back off or just fall off. Yeah. Another thing I did to make him a little taller was I bought some leg extenders on eBay. So you can see to make his ankles a little taller. This body was already a little taller, but this will make him even more taller. So that's good. The guy I've seen that I was talking about who customized his, he used a TB Lig body. I think it was an M33. I have that body, but it's short, so he would still end up being short. I could have used the leg extenders, I guess, but... I you just... don't really need a TB Lig body either. No. And it'd make him heavier and... I th yeah, I think this works. I had a bunch of six-go bodies to try out, so that was... You have a back stock. <laughs> yeah. I should just mention that in a review, there was a couple things I already fixed. Like, these just kind of fall off. That seemed to be a common issue. Like, you'd buy this figure brand new, and you'd open up, and a lot of people had these already fallen off. And if not, they'd fall off pretty quickly. And that happened to us. One was one was already off, and the other one I think came off. During the video. Yeah, but I sewed them on, and also the chain was really long, so I had to shorten it, and that kind of fixed that issue. It's got faulty ditty tokens. Yeah. Was there something else I fixed in that? Maybe not. Oh, that well, that was just an issue. That I think was just us. Was one of his shoulder pad shoulder armors was missing. And I, had to, oh, yeah. I contacted the company and they sent me a new one. Yeah, we were worried we were going to have to send the whole figure back because they do that sometimes. Yeah. And 
The other issue was this fur, which is a nice option, but it is a pain in the ass to put it on because you had these little loops that would wrap around these. You had to put them all the way around this and they're too small to get around them. So I made bigger ones, bigger elastic ones, and it was still kind of hard to do. But I seen that guy on Facebook said his are magnetic. I don't know exactly how he did it. He didn't really say, he just said he made them magnetic. But I put little magnets, glued them to his plastic armor underneath here and here, and then glued magnets onto this right here. So it should work. Just make sure you got the polarity the right way before you cool. Yeah, I did that. Oh yeah, they're, they're on there. That works pretty good. Yeah. The only issue I have still with this fur is that his hood sits funny on it. You might be able to like partially pull his hood underneath of it. So yeah. It's so wide. You could probably futz with it or whatever and get that to work right. But I do like that. It's just so much easier to do it that way mm -hmm. than to do the loop thing. The loops that originally came with were like impossible. Yeah, they were. You had to stretch them so hard. That there'd be no way these would stay on. If they, if somehow yours stayed on, they would have popped right off trying to get those on. But even sewing these on again, it was a risk of ripping them off again. Just how hard it was to get the original loops on. The one issue that I still got to fix, it shouldn't be too hard, is when I put the extenders on to his ankles, they're loose. So he's just kind of like got loose feet, loose ankles. But you can often tighten those up with glue, put glue on them, work it around, and just keep working around until the glue dries, and a lot of times that will tighten up the joints. So there you can see he's actually taller than Captain America. In a review, he was shorter, a lot shorter, and now he's taller. So I wasn't actually sure because this is the first time I stuck them next to each other. I thought Doctor Doom might still be slightly shorter, maybe just the same height. But he's actually taller now. Mm -hmm. He's much bigger. Yeah. I'm fine with that. Dr. Doom's not giant or anything. He's not a huge guy. But I feel like in his armor he should be somewhat intimidating. So I think this looks pretty good like that. Here he is with his triplet sons. <laughs> yeah, so he's definitely taller than these guys. And if I decided he was too tall, I have multiple sizes of the extenders these are actually the medium ones so I could have made them even taller but I could just take them out and just use the height of the body since the body was taller on its own so he doesn't have to be this much taller than everybody I kind of like him like that though yeah because Iron Man he gets taller in his suit I feel like Doctor Doom is very vain he'd probably add a little <laughs> add a little height in there yeah so it's a big coincidence that I plan on posting this video because just yesterday it was announced that Robert Downey Jr. would be playing Doctor Doom in an upcoming Avengers movie, which is odd. I mean, I know there's Iron Doom from the comics, but still, I don't know. It's just kind of weird. Maybe it'll be good. I don't know. I mean, supposedly he's going to be a variant. So is there going to be a regular Doctor Doom at some point? I don't know. Okay. So I was okay with the release before I was glad that I that we had them just because the armor is so nice looking and the material they use and, and the, the clothes and everything but uh, I I am liking them a lot more now that I fixed some of the issues that he had like the height and the biggest issue as I said was the mask you couldn't see his eyes because you always see his eyes in the comics and stuff or mm -hmm. cartoons you always see his eyes through the eye holes so it was bugging me a lot that you couldn't see them so this helps a lot and I do like that his height is fixed he's taller now and makes him a little more intimidating standing next to other characters the chainmail I think looks better using that sideshow Monty Python chainmail but the articulation of the head is nicer to be able to put his head around and it'll actually stay in place mm -hmm. and the arms. I made it so the fur is magnetic so you can just pop it on instead of trying to wrap the loops around them gold 
medallions or whatever they are in the chest. Baby tokens? Yeah. Well, let's say that you took a figure that was honestly a bit of a disappointment and made it really, really cool. Cool like it. It's a really good figure now. And one thing that I didn't do that I thought about doing was putting wire in his hood and cape. And there's already... It's already folded in, so I think I could just probably just put wire in there, but I didn't. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to do that. The main reason I would do it is if I was going to put his fur on his shoulders, because that's where the hood really has issues. Because I think you could make it look better with the fur on if there's wire in his hood, but that's not a big deal. But it'd be kind of cool if his cape was like flowing in the wind or something, but... I'm not too worried about that, so I'm not sure that I'm going to do that. I think he's fine the way it is. You just put a fan on him. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I like him so much better now. I would like to have a classic mask as an option, but as the zombie cat said, classic mask doesn't fit as well with the way the rest of the armor is designed here, because it's real nice and... Extravagant. Yeah. <laughs> the mask he has on here just looks more right for that type of armor. Or neat. I think that's a word for it. Or neat. Yeah. But Hot Toys has that, I don't know how to pronounce it, Hono or Hano. H-O-N-O. -O. Marvel figures are making where they're like comic book characters. They've made Spider-Man, Wolverine, Magneto, Thor. So they're probably going to make Doctor Doom. So it could, uh, could end up being a better Doctor Doom than this. But it's hard to tell. I like the old cartoon... Doofy looking version of Dr. Doom. They said that in the last video. Don't make me so happy. <laughs> it will not make me happy. They can do both. Yeah. You can buy one for me and one for you. <laughs> My guess is if they did make one, I probably wouldn't have all this extra fancy designs over the armor. It'd probably be a little more simple, mm -hmm. more classic looking. And that would be cool if they made it. Yeah, it'd be nice to have both versions. Yeah. I got the Mezco 112th Collective Doctor Doom. I got this after we did review that. And we actually reviewed this figure, but like 90% of my videos, I don't know if it's ever going to get posted. But I could see if Hot Toys made their comic Doctor Doom. It could look a lot like this with the armor. A little more simple. Which will be fine. Let me know what you think. If this improves the figure enough or if you think it just be better to just wait for the hot toys to make them if ever if they ever do well that's Mr. Evil Tease and I'm looking thanks for watching about your reign of terror ends today. <laughs> not yet widow <sighs> your reign of terror ends today doom no one speaks to doom in this way oh really what about like this your reign of terror Ends today, Doom. Oh, that, that's much better, actually. Thank you. Don't mention it.